What's up everybody, happy Friday. We're doing some ear surgery today. I wanna to show you guys how we set up for ear surgery. So we got the patient and the anesthesia team right there. We have our medications that we use for injecting the ear so that there's very little bleeding. We have our very fancy microscope here, which is very expensive and very cool. It's got a monitor. It has electronic controls, state-of-the-art stuff. This is our drill right here in case we have to drill some bone away. We have our instrument set up right here and the lovely Julia, my surgical Hi. tech. We got all these tiny little instruments right here that we use for ear surgery. Very microscopic stuff, little suctions. And we have a facial nerve monitor that we use to monitor the movement of a very important nerve in the ear. And I'll try to show you guys some more um, details of the surgery as we go along. All right, so you saw the room set up and now we're proceeding with surgery. So I got the microscope here and the patient uh, draped in a sterile fashion. We got Julia who you met, we got Dr. Jonas Ziskwit, anesthesiologist extraordinaire, great tennis player and basketball player. We got Carlos over here and we wanna show you the perforation that this patient has, which we're gonna fix. So take a look on the screen. So you can see that's the eardrum of the patient's left ear, and there's a big hole in it. So we're gonna use her own cartilage from the outer ear, right over here where my finger is, and we're gonna slice it thin and create a new eardrum for her. That's called a tympanoplasty. So I'm gonna show you guys as we proceed how it's going. So we're ready to cut our cartilage that I harvested from the patient's tragus to create a new eardrum. So this is our piece of cartilage right here, you can see. And we're gonna put it into a special cartilage cutter. So check this out. So we place it into this device, it can come from above. And we put it right in here. Yeah, insert it in. I tighten it down to hold it in place. I set the thickness of the slices that I wanna cut. And like a guillotine, boom. Now we're going to open that up and we've got really thinly sliced cartilage that's really nice for making an eardrum, which I'm going to show you right now. So this is our piece of cartilage that I cut and it's very, very thin. So we got one there and we've got another one here. So it allows us to create an eardrum that's strong but not too stiff. And these are the thinly cut pieces of cartilage that you can see right here and here. And we are going to shape these to size, and then I'm going to show you how we put them in to the patient to recreate the eardrum. So this is our piece of cartilage that I cut, and it's very, very thin. So we got one there, and we've got another one here. So it allows us to create an eardrum that's strong, but not too stiff. And these are the thinly cut pieces of cartilage that you can see right here and here. And we are going to shape these to size, and then I'm gonna show you how we put them in to the patient to recreate the eardrum. For the perforation of the eardrum right here, I've lifted up the eardrum, so now I'm gonna show you how we can slide in this cartilage trap under the eardrum, okay? So we're not fully finished yet, but you can see how this piece of cartilage will slide in on the undersurface of the eardrum and will act as a new eardrum. We're gonna support it with some special gelatin sponges so that it really is all the way up here and stuck to the eardrum and it will act as this patient's new eardrum instead of the hole that they previously had. And it's gonna work just like a regular eardrum. All right, so you can see here, we set our cartilage in from the underside right here, and it is closing this entire hole right as we planned. So I supported it on the undersurface with these little sponges, and we're gonna lay the eardrum back down into position, just like that, and close up and voila. The patient does not have a hole in her eardrum anymore. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing that, and she's gonna do great.